They wanna desecrate the God, but cannot fuck with them Cause they illustrate the sides and break bread with the pigeons Who don't think that my flow sick with my description Eyes chink, but my vision don't fit your prescription What's going on everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to the show Back to back to back uploads, you already know how it goes it's, That's when like when you see a, an outfit a bunch of times in the same succession It's cause I'm filming in succession <laughs> right, There's no other way to put it um, not really doing too much of an intro. You can tell by the title what it is. Logic Keanu Reeves. Getting to it. Last Logic video did not go well for anybody. No, nobody was happy with that video. We weren't happy doing it. Y'all weren't happy watching it. That's how it goes sometimes. But hey, I'm hoping for the best here. It sounds like Logic is on the, the Bobby essence, but not so much to where it's going to be a complete... Uh, a, a complete detour that so many people were in, in up in arms about with Bobby Tarantino too. Um, personally, I like when Logic raps and he's having fun. I, I don't really like message Logic and I know that's what he's all about. I know that he's all about pushing peace, love and positivity and always trying to you know reach the masses. That's cool. Those records are very hit or miss for me. I already told you how I feel about 1-800. I already told you how I feel about one day. So... I'm not, I don't have a good track record with that type of stuff, but I love records like Midnight. I love records like Warm It Up. I love records like Contra. I love records like uh, Slave 2. I love records like The Jam. So stuff like that. When, when Logic's really in his element and really just flexing his rap skills, I love it. So I'm hoping we get some of that with this. Let's jump right into it. This is Keanu Reeves by Logic. I'm the one, bitch, I'm the one. Come on. I heard that from the clip. I was expecting that one, but I love the way that he set that up. That's hard. Exactly what I'm talking about. I love when he's just saying whatever he wants to say on a record. And I, I love the whole self-aware bars. I love, you know, how he's, they, he ain't made it today, make a meme of you, which is very, very true. You know? That's that's kind of what I was missing from Young Sinatra 4. I felt like it was too serious. I felt like, I, I don't want to go back into Young Sinatra 4. That's that's just not the, the, the project for me. But I love the free nature and the expression that was shown all over this record he was having you could tell he was having fun with this record you could tell he was just spazzing because he know he can rap he knows he's better than the people that y'all vouch for and the people that y'all compare him to but he's just spazzing on this record he's not trying to prove nothing on this record he's just rapping and it's it, it's all so beautiful to listen to that's a hot single that's that's all i really want to say you know i elaborate on the reviews but hot single shout out logic if this is leading to bobby tarantino three or maybe that's going to Ultra 85 or whatever the other project is. Hey, man. I've moved on from the past. You know, I, I talk about my favorite records from you all the time. So whatever you got cooking, I'm looking forward to it. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much. Like, share, subscribe to the whole nine. You know the biz. You know what it is. It's Gerald O'Brien and I'm out.